Hey guys, since I have been doing a lot more hair videos lately and you guys have been seeing my hair more, <laughs> um, people have been wondering what have I been using to achieve um, certain styles and even my growth. So I figured I'd just make this one video to cover it all. Um, I'm still pretty much using the same products that I've been using for like the past year or so. Um, so it's not going to be that much of a surprise to you guys who have been following me. But I have been trying a lot more new stuff as you guys have seen in my most recent videos. So um, to start off with this old stuff that I've been using. Still using Shea Moisture Curling Hands and Smoothie. Love the stuff. This is what it looks like for those of you guys who don't know. I don't know what happened to all this. I swear I didn't use all that. But um, I'll continue to use that until I find something better. Which I doubt that there's anything better out there. Still using styling gels like Eco Styler. You guys know I was using the Argan Oil. I'm still on the fence if I want to purchase that again. Um, I want to get through this first. But I will be trying different gels. So you guys stay tuned for that. So um, I just picked this up the other day. This is the Argan Oil one. Um, I've only purchased this once before and I thought it was alright. Uh, I've been working on my wash and goes lately and um, just using them, using gels for other purposes other than wash and go and I'm happy to say that my wash and goes are coming out really good and I'm getting back in the habit of doing like twist outs and stuff and I think I've slowly but surely um, figuring out how to get my twist outs to look the way that I want them to look. For conditioner, I'm using my Aussie Moist conditioner I used to use this all the time um, within like like maybe a year after I did my big chop I would use this out by the big one um, and this stuff is good it's an oldie but goodie I love this stuff I also use uh, every now and then well before I started back using the Aussie Moist I was using the Tresemme I love the Tresemme conditioners they're really good for detangling for conditioning for co-washing all that stuff uh, I just love those and it's very comparable to the Aussie Moist and stuff and it's reasonably priced as far as shampoo, I'm not really one of those people who cares too much about the ingredients. I know I should, but I just don't. Um, so, <laughs> I actually picked this up to um, wash my makeup brushes, and then one day I ran out of shampoo, so I started using this. And I've been using it ever since, and this is actually a pretty good shampoo. This is the White Rain um, Hydrating Shampoo. And I got this from the dollar store, obviously for a dollar. And... Um, it works really good. I like it. And it works really good with the Aussie Moist. It doesn't dry my hair out too much and my hair doesn't get super tangled and like that strip feeling. I really like that. But it cleanses my hair really nicely. Um, before what I was using, before I started using that, I was using the Tresemme shampoo. I don't remember which one it was. It's probably the moisturizing one. Right, so on to the newer products that I've been using. Um, let me start off with this one because I am in love with this product. I've talked about it several times already. This is the Coils by Nature Nourishing Hair and Body Butter Heavenly Delight. And it's just a shea butter mixture smells so good um but this product I love to death but yeah I love using this underneath my gels um I've used it under my washing goes my twist um twist outs uh, I've used it to moisturize my twist outs I've used it for everything and it just it does such a great job of moisturizing seriously it's really up there with my Shea Moisture Curl Enhancer Smoothie I love that stuff um <clears throat> and then this is also an old one. Um, I purchased this maybe like last year. This is the Darcy's Botanical Sweet Cream Daily Leave-In Conditioner. And it's taken me forever to use this product up. This is a really light leave-in conditioner, so I don't always reach for it. I usually go for my Shea Moisture or the Coils by Nature. Um, or this next one that I'm going to talk about because it's so light so I usually use this for when my hair is twisted um, like my twist out or if my hair is just feeling really dry and I just need to add a little bit of moisture to it um, which leads me to my next one this Darcy's Botanical uh, Peach Kernel Hydrating Milk I use this in one of my most recent videos I've been using this a lot lately and it doesn't go down very much it's really thick um, product. I'm realizing that I prefer the thicker um, moisturizers than the um, conditioner consistency. The really light conditioners because they moisturize my hair a lot more. So yeah, I really like this. Um, <clears throat> 
And then for also another conditioner that I've been using. Um, I haven't used this too much. I think I've only used this like one or two times. But it's the Hydrating Shalo Creamy Conditioner by Colts by Nature. It's good. I like it. Um, <clears throat> I guess I really, I don't think I'll be able to really give a great review on this yet. Because I haven't used it that much. And plus, um, I was using it when I was running out of conditioner. So I was using it with another conditioner. So, yeah. Um... <clears throat> Other than that, that's pretty much all of the products, hair products that I've been using. So as far as growth goes, um, I'm not really doing anything different with my hair. Um, just letting it do its own thing. I've been wearing a lot of buns. A lot, a lot, a lot of buns. And I'm loving my side bun that I got going on today. Um, what else? Um, I've been wearing a couple wash goes. I've been doing twist outs and um, experimenting with a couple of different styles and stuff. So, yeah, I'm really trying to get back into like doing stuff with my natural hair and also keeping it healthy and stuff. So, that's about it for that. Um, people keep asking me what my hair type is. I usually don't respond <laughs> to those questions just because I don't like the question and I just don't see the point really of hair typing but to get, let you guys know those of you guys who are wondering I'd say my hair type is probably a mixture of uh, like a 3B to 4A or at least a 3C to 4A something like that I don't know everybody has their own opinions about hair typing I could care less it doesn't really do anything yeah also I wanted to mention that I will be at another natural hair event uh, next month in August I will put the information in the description bar main angels is hosting this one and so yeah and that will be in Durham North Carolina so if you are interested or if you're in the North Carolina dorm area triangle area you want to come out again all the information will be in the description bar so I would love to meet you guys and until next Next time, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.